Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Friday Takeaway. I'm Ku Su Chong, and as usual, I'm joined by Suli Yasman. We're in Makan Union in Ikano. Yeah, the, the best, best butter food. chicken and mi rebus in Ikano. Yes, and yes. if you want to date with Chuang, of course, you can come here and send him emails. But anyway, of course, uh, Bosa Malaysia, let's start with that. Uh, one week performance down just 1% max at uh, 1,704 points. Now, I think it's, uh, it's a pretty lackluster, very quiet market. I think uh, after all the hullabaloo about Brussels and the terrorist attacks have, uh, have died away. Yeah, correct. And of course, uh, I think the MA research expects the ABM KLC to reach 1,720 points by end of first half this year. Are you confident of us reaching that level? Only the Lordy Lordy knows, Max. All right. Uh, let's move along to uh, some of the couple of things that happened in the market, the market this week. Chin Hin uh, listed last week with a reference price of 65 cents. They closed the day at 82 and a half cents today for a 27% gain. Of course, the volume has been progressively thinning. But it's not a bad stock in terms of where the market thinks it is. I think TA Research reckon they are at fair value at 77 cents, slightly lower than where they are now. Uh, Mercury Securities with an 80 cent uh, target price. Yes, and of course, Interpacific Research uh, has a buy call with a target price of 84 cents. And I think, you know, um, is it a good stock to buy given the fact that the construction sectors are quite booming because these guys are construction players? Well, clearly, uh, we also don't know. It's uh, another step in the dark. Rand Hill also listed last week, one buck twenty was reference price. Closed the day today, one buck ten for an eight and a half percent decline. You thought this could be another Malakoff in the making? Yeah, correct. Because Malaka was listed at one hundred eighty cents, and the share price has yet to recover from the IPO price. And remember that they have Maybank Investment Bank has to do a lot of um, you know stabilizing actions three times, in fact, you know for this particular price. But you know um, we also see a very lackluster. Uh, for Rand Hill, yeah, yes. I mean they got a bad reputation. They tried to list in 2013, couldn't do it because uh, Petronas cancelled one of their key contracts at their uh, Perunding uh, subsidiary. So maybe they haven't really recovered from that. Uh, let's have a look at also the oil prices. Uh, around about 40 bucks a barrel. I guess that's part of the reason why the ringgit is at uh, 4.02 to the dollar now. Not bad. Probably the best performing currency in the last few weeks. Yeah, correct. And of course, the government is expecting the oil price to average at 35. US dollar per barrel uh, this year and, and of course I think um, we have reduced our slight reliance on oil and gas uh, revenues, right? Oh, I don't know, I think the jury is on that but uh, it is where it is right now and yep. um, only the Lordy Lordy knows as well <laughs> where oil prices will be right. in a year's time. The key thing in terms of the, where the regional market is has been the stronger dollar. Of course the Federal Reserve thinks that well, it's communicating to the market that there could be another couple more rate rises this year and they haven't dwindle the hopes of an April rate rise. So I guess the dollar index, that's why the, it's rising. And I guess that's why our markets are a little bit weak. Yeah, of course. And of course, if you look at the Federal Reserve dot plot interest rate projections, you know, they've been saying that they wanted to raise at least four rates this year, right? but then the market has expected, expecting a very reduced it two times, you know, so... If at all. If at all, yeah, correct. And if you look in the, in the, in the local current, in, in the local market, just very quickly, I think the BNM, maybe people are thinking that BNM could trim the OPR to support growth. Further. I think the consensus is for 1.25 uh, uh, basis points by the end of this year, and they might have to. It's, uh, it's a task for the new central bank governor to consider because whoever he or she, well, here, I think, because there's no female candidates, correct. but it's low-hanging fruit because if you're trying to massage growth and 4 to 5% is a bit lower than previous years, an easy target would be to drop interest rates. Yeah, and I, th I think the country still has a lot of many monetary policy to maneuver and also play around with as compared to the European That's and right. other Japanese markets. Quick wrap up on the regional markets. The, the Nikkei was down 0.7% to 17,002 points. The Hang Seng was down 1.3% to 20,346 points. And the CSI 300 was down a half percentage point to 3,198 points. Now, the things that made us happy this week, you thought the 209th police day in Malaysia was something to be happy about. Yeah, of course, because you know, you look at the our country. You know, of course, you can say it's still safe and so on. But you know, there are many factors. Is it really? I, I don't know. Well, so far, no terrorist attacks. <laughs> yeah, so far, no. You know, I mean, maybe because we have a, a home minister that is very paranoid about um, all these <laughs> terrorists coming into Malaysia and curbing all the activities deemed as illegal. But I think the police has done good job, never mind the fact that they are still controlled by the government, you know, in keeping the country harmony. You, don't you think so? Are you well, I mean, we've had, we've had Jakarta, we've had Brussels this year alone, we've had Paris and Istanbul in the last six months. You know, I mean, these are big cities, you know, if we can control our shores and touch wood, uh, we're not going to get any more terrorist attacks. <laughs> well then, hey, there's something to be celebrated about. Right. The other thing that's also been quite nice in terms of making us happy 
is the vow by Tan Sri Zeti, the central bank governor, to bring a closure to 1MDB before she retires. That's in a month and a half time. Yes, correct. I was actually there you know, during the press conference by Tan Sri Zeti where she said that she wanted to hand over a clean slate to the new governor. And I think is this that thing, possible, do you think? I, I th well, she has 38 more days to go. And, and within this period, she vows that she wants to submit the application to close this and they, she wanted also to penalise and issue compounds to 1MDB for so-called flouting the rules of the financial systems. Well, it's not as if she can, there's a lot of power available to the central bank. All they can do is just uh, fine 1MDB and if she's admitted as well, the purview for the central bank is quite limited in terms of what the central bank can do. But hey, again, the jury is out, let's see what she does. Also, quite interesting was the fact that the ringgit is now at 4.02 to the dollar down, uh, in fact, much, much higher than where it was about, what, two months ago? Fantastic news. Yes, correct. And if you look at the 5 p.m. data from Magnagara today, the middle rate uh, USC to MOIR is about 4.0470. And analysts have different predictions. You know, Chuang, um, Standard Chartered and Macquarie Forex Strategies predicts the ring it to be at 3.9 in the next one to two months. But RHB Research, they are a little bit bullish, isn't it? 4.1, uh, sorry, bearish, I would say. Well, by end 2016. You're getting bulls and bears mixed up. <laughs> sad stuff. Sad stuff that made us cry, like the Elton Jet, uh, Elton John song. The Brussels bombing this week as well. Uh, something like 30 people died. Um, the airport was hit. The metro station was hit. Not the first time in, in 2016 such an attack happened because we saw Jakarta in, in, right. in January, also near a shopping mall and on the street. So I mean, of course, it's not surprising that we are in like, quite high alert. Yeah, correct. And if you look in the, um, there are many other smaller cases, you know, around the world that has not been yeah, reported, right? Yeah. And 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 these are just very very sad indeed. And of course, our hearts and prayers go to those who exactly. actually uh, perish during this. Uh, you had some times. stuff on terrorism funding from FICO. Correct. And and today, yes, yeah, well, yesterday, today, uh, yesterday, FICO released the finding of the survey where eighty eight percent of respondents anticipate terrorist funding to grow this year. Now, the, the survey, they, they, they went and looked at the uh, 36 executives from 18 leading APAC banks and they say that 47 of the custom uh, respondents um, uh, you know, uh, say that you know, it might be increased, the terrorism funding. Oh, that's no good. So uh, again, I mean, uh, it'll be really up to the cyber and the police, you know, and, 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 the, and the, <laughs> the perpetrator fighters like um, Zahid Hamidi in our country at least uh, in terms of uh, fighting that front. Another thing that made us sad this week was the fact that the Tan Chung founder, yes. one of the two brothers, the elder, the younger one died uh, 20 years ago. <coughs> the elder one, Tan Sri Tan Kim Ho, died on Monday. He was 92 years old. In cricket terms, that's a fantastic innings. Yeah, it's a, it, people say health is wealth, and you know, and I think yeah, you've covered. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you, you've known the history of this company before, right? Tan Chong, way more than I do, in fact. And, and of course, um, you know, um, uh, they managed the TC Tan Chong Group uh, successfully taking it regionally before regionalization becoming a buzzword. Of course, uh, yet for his brother brought in Nissan cars, but then of course the elder Kim Ho <coughs> took the company regional, uh, international, uh, listed in Hong Kong. They've done parts with APM. They've also done stuff in Vietnam and Indochina. So interesting for them. Very very quickly, Bison is listing next week. It's a tough business to be in retail and high street stores. But again, I mean, they're, they're, they're brave for coming out at this time of year. Yeah, of course, and I think valuation is very high. 25 times the PE, man. And, exactly. and, and you but know, not as high as 7 11, 30 times. 30 times, correct. 30 and times. Um, TA reckons the ta uh, target price is a bit too high at 1 ringgit and 10. I pegged it at 7.92 cent each. Well, Inter Pacific and Public Bank has a slightly bullish you know, target price and fair values. Okay, and lastly, US earnings season's on us happening next week. That's all we have for you today. For more, go to thehmarkets.com and for the hard copy, for the hardest news, there's always the H Weekly and the Financial Daily. Thank you for watching. Good night, good luck. Have a good weekend.